Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Universal Souls 4 as Morocco in our Morocco campaign. Last we left off, we're at peace. We're slowly but surely replenishing our armies, building some structures. We're waiting for a truce to expire with the Memlux, which will mean 1520. And um, we're also going to be annexing a little vassal buddy of Tripoli sometime in the near future, I think at 1515. We'll be destroying Tunis. Hopefully sometime fairly soon. Um, gotta take more autonomy, motherfuckers. I'm getting some pretty bad events from, from prolonged tensions between us and our states. Um, it's pretty bad. It's unfortunate. We're, uh, so we're ahead in technology, but we're not doing too well as far as our institution. Um, I'm thinking... If we're able to get good relations with the Aragonese, which we now have, since we have good relations with him, we can get the institution here. Um, I'm actually willing, probably, to speed it up with the institution spread. What are some of these... Um, hmm. Let's see. Own all provinces, your culture group. We're, we've actually almost reliably done that. Besides the Tunisian stuff, yeah. We've actually almost done that. How much development do we have? 324. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so we got a Nafi Scholars. Let's see, Bamanis. Is that AD? We have development cost. We're going to be focusing... Uh, so, we, so we swapped out our Diplo Idea group for expansion. I think expansion actually is, is kind of better um, for what we need. So I'm kind of excited for that. Let's actually take a look here. Can I read some more coasts? The Tunisians may have been doing so already. I don't actually necessarily want to raid the Aragonese. I don't mind reading the Castilians though. And the Portuguese as well. Somebody told me that you can raid up to three sea tiles away from any land province that you own. So, I'm just going to take the word for it that that's correct. Does it say anything in here about raiding coasts? Raid coasts. The fleet is able to raid the surrounding coastlines for sailors and gold, provided it belongs to a nation with appropriate ideas. Other fleets currently hunting for pirates in the area, uh, in the region, reduce its effectiveness. Okay. Let's at least get um, one colonist here. We can send him... Well, okay, so as far as a native policy... I'm thinking we're going to take this for the global settler growth. Let me grab some troops. Grab this guy and let me send him over here. Um, let's see, natives, aggressiveness, ferocity. We're going to pretty much destroy the natives here, so we can expand against Timbuktu and that sort of thing. Um, the initial advancements into Africa are going to be kind of painful. But over time, I think we will be successful. We should get some manufactories. Those are good. That's good money. We can access this guy on October 1450 or 1515. Uh, let's see. Who are you fighting? Oh, so you're fighting the Russians. Holy God, dude. That's crazy. When's this truce up? Shit. I was going to say. Okay, so let's expand in this direction. Uh, I think we're, we might get engaged when we land here. That's kind of cool. Aid the natives. We're actually going to attack the natives. Make sure there's no more enemy troops rising up to hurt us. And happiness among the artisans. Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel bad about having them be disloyal, but I don't exactly want to go into debt just for that event. So I'm just going to kind of leave it there. All right. So now we can expand into these regions. Threatened attitude. Okay, we got to build some spy power now. We'll expand here a little later. Um, maybe that would have been that would have been the smart idea because I do see some smaller powers over here that we can expand against. But I, I need to see what's going on over here. Okay, so Muscovy was defending Circassia. Circassia has been almost annihilated. Poland stills the Union. Apparently, Poland is allied with Scotland and France. Holy shit! I just realized Scotland has not been really affected this game at all. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Our settler growth is pretty horrible. Um, I don't know if we should take more ideas necessarily at this present moment. 364 error, or 364 ruler with a 530 error. Let's begin this integration. Um, let's see. We still have some time until we have to attack the Tunisians and the Mamlukans again. So let's let's hold off on that for a second. I think I'm gonna focus a little bit on, on this guy. When can I steal maps? At 50, 50 spy power. Okay. I gotta admit, these Moroccan ideas are not great. Um, this one's kind of unique, but I don't think it's great. This one is okay. Land maintenance modifier minus five percent. That's kind of minuscule, and then cavalry combat ability is also just like, yeah. This this one's kind of useless. I really don't privateer very much. It's not very useful. Um, you know, these ideas could be better. So as soon as we have an idea of what's going on over here, we can go to war. Um, potentially the only problem with attacking into Africa is one, manpower pretty much. We're going to be just taking tons of attrition. And two is there's the, the powers seem to have this tendency to ally each other. They all just kind of ally together with each other. And so it can make it difficult to actually expand very much. Um, at least we're making pretty decent money right now. Although we don't have any army maintenance. Um, we're making okay money. Can't complain. Let me see. Let me give Lemson to these guys. To the merchants. I'm going to hold off on Tangiers for a second. Increase free subjects, morale of armies. You know, I gotta admit, some some Amir loyalty would... Dude, that morale of armies, though, is fucking fantastic. That's 10 years. I have to admit, I, I could use a loyalty. Is there some other way I could give that to them? Amirs. I really kind of give them a look at all the territory I can afford to give. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to take the morale of armies. That's that's fantastic. 10% is a lot. That's not chump change there. Um, do some inflation real fast. I can make a generous donation to the Ulema. Good. Ask for a contribution. Do we need them to be loyal for any reason? 
Not necessarily. Do I need money? I'd not actually probably prefer points. I could grant an admiral ship, demand some diplomatic support. It's actually a pretty decent admiral. Wow, it's actually really impressive. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that early. Okay, so we have the cleanly substitution over here. And I want it to kind of spread this way. Let me see. Let me turn on the advancement effort here. I'm also considering turning it on over here and over here. That would speed this up a bit. It's going to bite into our income, but since we're at peace right now, I don't think it's a big deal. At the very least, we need to get this institution sometime soon. It's kind of taken a while. And we're about to annex Tripoli, so that's good. Uh, in two years, we're going to declare war on the Memlux. Um, I will go ahead and I'll use that. Yeah, for this. We do need that. Tech 10. The Memlux, neither the Memlux nor the Tunisians have Tech 10. That's a... That's surprising, actually. I thought they would. Let me steal maps here. The Sahel regions. I can't discover the Niger. I can't discover the Sahel, though. Okay. So Timbuktu. Is that with Katsina? Aaron Jolof. Okay. See, there's no gold here. So we have to conquer all the Sahel for the achievement. We have to conquer all the Niger. I believe. Let me double check it. The Niger and the Sahel regions. Yeah. So it's it's quite a bit of territory. It's quite a bit of territory. As soon as we annihilate the Tunisians, though, I think we're going to be just fine. Okay, so this gold mine in Tefialt. Actually, made quite a bit of money from here, don't we? <laughs> we'll avoid spending money for now. Um, we may get an influx of cash. Let's see. That's a lot of galleys. Okay, so not protecting trade actually does affect our income by a little bit, which is unfortunate. Because of Bosch. Let's go for Pedreros. Probably being over the force limit. Hmm. Okay. So we declare on the we declare the Mamluk. We declare the Mamluk. Ottomans will do their thing. We focus on the Tunisians. Get as much territory from them as possible. We'll declare our own war, our own separate war. We don't have to worry about anything. Probably he'll retain just Tunis. I'm thinking. We'll take some money from him and all some treaties, that sort of thing. Yeah. When's that what's that true up? November fifteen twenty, okay. So we still have a little bit to go. 
You guys go to Kef. I've got... Can I get one more general? Yeah. 332? That's not bad. That's fine. And then eventually we'll start our expedition into this region here. Um, I actually could do it now. Jalofen Air. Air is here. I could probably conquer that. No, it's actually well. It's still gonna take some time. Let's let's focus on the Tunisians first. Let's let's at least secure the North African domains before we go south. There's gonna be plenty of time to go south. Plenty of time. We can also get our institution pretty soon. I'm lucky we're ahead on time. Chipotania and Yerba. Yeah. Don't need to worry too much about this. I think the Ottomans will take care of it. I think the Ottomans will take care of it. Can I give you to the mirrors? Does you ever store that fort? No, it's gone now. Um, this is green, but it actually does have a natural harbor. That's true. Merchant guilds. No, I'm gonna have to hold off on that for now. Yeah, the merchant guilds have too much influence. A lot of the time, they have way too much. Hmm. Oh, that is true. We don't have a CB against this guy. Hmm. We do get it now. So what can we not do? Can't conquest anything? Can't core return? Can't form personal union? Can't the very countries? Transfer vassals? Force tributary state? We can't do core revocation? Monetary reparations? Nomad treaties? 50% trade power? Trade steering? And humiliate as well. Yeah, that's fine. We d we're, not, we're not taking any territory. I don't de desire anything over here, um, because then we'll just piss off the Ottomans. So, and then we're going to come over here, and we're going to focus on our own war with you guys. Take Midia. Yeah. yeah. Then the can separatists. Uh, what level four is that? That's level two. Spy number construction guy will come in handy. <clears throat> Let's go get a wall bridge just to speed this up. We are in a military attack, so we don't have to worry too much about, about power cost. Um, so we didn't win this. Okay. We do have Kabilia as a vassal. 
No, nah, actually, I think I'll probably core most of this myself. Um, let me see. What can I get here? Turn on a fort defense edict over here. There goes the Ottomans. Um, actually, I, yeah, I guess I will send. Yeah, I got a, I got a three, three, two. Um, what's his Miltech? He's at ten. No, actually, the Mamluks are at nine. That's kind of curious. Um, let's take a. Okay, so we, we're, well, we're, we're getting towards finishing Aristocratic. We could do another military idea group. I think I will go for Global Southern Increase, Global Tariffs, Expo Minorities Cost, Naval Force Modifier. You know, exploration doesn't exactly help us anymore because really what we're just doing is we're pushing south, right? That's all we have to do. It's just constant battling over there. I'm leaning towards like trade. Trade or diplomatic is pretty good. Let me do trade for some money, probably. You know, merchants and that sort of thing will really help us. Okay, so no treaties with Ottomans. Okay, so we're taking all that. He's going to retain Bazir and Tunis. Give me all that. No treaties with the Ottomans. Yeah, that's fun. Beautiful. Good things. Good things. Whoopsies. That's weird. What the hell's going on there? Okay. The game is like bugging out or something. I don't know. What's kind of going on there? It's kind of weird. Yeah, three, three. Let's move these men west. Let's go blockade. Oh, motherfucker. I knew he was going to get it, dude. Seriously. these This AI is so lucky that she's not even funny. Their dice rolls are incredible. Um, we're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose that battle. Damn, you're returning all the way back here to Limson? Fuck. Um, shit, okay, I don't need that. Okay, yes, we can't- we can't take any territory. Ah, oh, you fucking Memlicans. I swear. Of course he won that battle. Seriously. Got some Separatists too that I'm not even sure. I wonder if they're actually... I wonder if they're hostile to Memlican troops. I don't know. Are they? I don't think so. No, actually, yeah. They, they probably are. No, they're friendly. They're friendly. I was kind of curious about that. I was like, you know, like... Like, they're supposed to be friendly to you, right? When they're your Separatists. So... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. There's a Church of England. Um, wow! There will be no Anglicanism in this game. Kind of interesting. Are you fucking serious, guys? You merchants, you guys suck. No, I, fuck that. I'm not taking more autonomy from you guys. You guys piss me off. Can I humiliate this guy? Yeah, we want to get probably one more humiliate on this guy. Oh, 
Holy Jesus, really? Are we just like never gonna catch this guy? Hey, got him. Really? That was not a stack wipe? Wow. Fine, let's get your get your ass some oil too. Let's see, 4356. He's fucking Mamlux, man, I swear. These guys move hella fast. Why do they move so fast? Oh really? You're gonna get attacked by some particularists. That is justice if I've ever seen it. Oh my god, though, these mamluks are strong. Thank you, particularists. I'm glad you're all dead. Fuck you. But, uh... At least thank you for giving me some problems with, the uh, The mamluks. Oh god. Quite a few rebels, actually. Oh, that's right, we're at a manpower, huh? Shit. Can you revoke the scores on me? I don't think so. Can he? Aiden. Can't release nations. Okay. Holy fuck me, Christ. Why are we losing so much money? We are just hemorrhaging cash. Well, well, there you go. Oh, I guess it's because of the occupation from the particularists. That makes sense. I was like, damn, though, dude. Fuck. <laughs> We're just burning cash. Okay. So, Timbuk2 is our next target. Um, let's actually send some troops to go attack the natives over here real fast. Let me see. Yeah, I'll just grab like 15,000. Over here. Let's embrace our institution. Yeah. State edicts. Uh, actually, you know, I think I will enable this protect trade modifier here. Let me see. Where's my navy? Protect trade in Sevilla. Transports. Random mass galley. I guess we'll hang on to them. That's fine. There we go. So we are a great power. England, France. Nope. Nope. I'm not dealing with any of that shit. Humiliated the Mamluks yet again. Uh, let's steal more maps from this guy. We have no adjacent... Oh, that's, well, that's true. Okay, we don't have any adjacent units to the Niger. That's true. Yeah, that's kind of why I was transferring some troops over. Thank you, natives. Thank you for that. You're so sweet. 
Let's see. Four defense. Let me take Morale of Armies guy. We have Moroccan Noble Rebels. Tits one, Tits Yuri. What is what is with these fucking rebels? You little bastards. Just I'm tired of these guys being pissed off at me. Burn that shit! Okay, let me see. So these Moroccan Noble Rebels, these guys will rise up, I guess. They're just everywhere, dude. Thank God, yeah! <clears throat> okay, so what's up with these missions? Um, Protect Granada. Don't really care about that. Reclaim Andalusia. That, yeah, actually, that would give us permanent claims and a lot of stuff here in Andalusia. Um, let's do that. Let's find... Let's see. Could transfer some trade power from up here. Still transferring from here. Still transferring from here. Let's see. Lemson. The Yia. I do want to give this back to the merchants. It's too much influence though. Tripoli. Merchant guilds. That's fine. Anything else? Tatooine already belongs to the emirs. Constantine. Uh, I don't know. We're actually not done with that yet. Okay. Core creation cost might help us out with expanding against... Against, um... I still like the National Text modifier, but actually using this against Timbuk2 would not be bad. I'm going to keep going for the money for now. Let's see. Force Summit could grow a little bigger. Yeah, the army composition, like I said, is not ideal. We're doing... We're making pretty good money, though. Um, the War Rips has a big big part to play in that, however. Let's see. Three fifty seven. Okay, so he's got just one ally, which is this guy. Um, I was going to say. See, can I fully annex this guy? No. Can't vassalize him. So Nissian Separatists has a fairly large army. Okay, so besides besides the war reps, we actually don't make that much cash. We do seem to have some issues. Independence for Kabelia. Oh god. See, Rocket Peasants lower taxes and Teffy Alt. That's it. Okay. Mm. 
Um, let's move these guys to where they don't take attrition. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Mr. Clear run the Kara. Thank God there's no tumors in this game. Seriously. That'd be a straight up bitch if there was. Um, yeah, let's actually take the loyalty on the on the Lima part. Because that, that just that's straight taxes, which is nice. Actually comes in handy. These fucking guys are still mad. I swear. Okay, we've already destroyed those guys there. Yeah, we should attack the Timbuktu sometime in the very near future. We need to attack this guy in 1536. That's almost 10 years from now. Um, just because we're so... We really do lack manpower. Um, it's going to be an issue. We have some mercs available. Mercs would really kind of help us save some manpower. I'm considering now maybe we should have gotten something like quantity here. But we are finishing Aristocratic pretty soon. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah. But let me take a break here, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon or value to memberships down below. And I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.